nationalist IT cell leader removed for comments against Islam. On July 7th, Arun Yadav, a leader in charge of an IT cell, which is a cyber unit responsible for spreading propaganda, um, representing the high, the Haryana state unit of India's BJP uh, ruling BJP party, was removed from his position due to old tweets, quote unquote, offending Islam. It is speculated that the BJP expelled Yadav because of a controversial tweet that he made against Islam in 2017, which roughly translates to, I see the prophet in my liquor. And it also contains like a picture of the whiskey next to the Kaaba. Um, critics accused Yadav of insulting Prophet Muhammad and Islam and spreading hatred. There was an out online campaign on Twitter that demanded that Arun should be arrested for his controversial statements. BJP State Secretary Gulshan uh, Bhatia declared Yadav's removal from his position via an official statement. However, he is still a BJP party member and was not arrested, nor has anyone filed a complete police complaint against him. Many compared Yadav's case with that of Alt News co-founder Mohamed Zubair, who was arrested on June 17th for a tweet he made in 2018. Numerous people said that the two men received disparate treatment. Zubair was arrested for allegedly hurting Hindu religious sentiments, yet Yadav hasn't faced any legal consequences. So I thought this was a fascinating story because I can't believe that a BJP IT cell leader was fired for comments against Islam. Like... <laughs> This is how you know, th I feel like this whole Nupur Sharma blasphemy um, the fiasco has the BJP acting like a, like a kid, like in the corner, rocking back and forth, just like, just make it stop. Like, they were so quick to get rid of this guy for something he tweeted in 2017. Okay, so this is uh, like the Hindutva gang noticing that this whole blasphemy game it's a double-edged sword, right? Yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, yeah. This is like, you guys, you just made your bed and now you have to lay in it, okay? Like, how do you, how do you like, how do you like blasphemy laws, blasphemy standards now, right? Because the, for people who don't know, like the Hindu IT cells, these are the people who came after us and attacked, attacked us or spammed us and eventually took down our Twitter accounts, right? Harassed us, and they threatened harassed us. us. Yeah, I came after my family, like made a deep fake uh, porn of my mother, of female members of my family, including children, um, and basically harassed them to the point of like, like it was insane. Like you have no idea. Like I've never seen this level of harassment from any other community. Okay, uh, but they were so proud of it as well, right? And also they. Um, me and Susanna have a lot of FIRs filed against us, a lot of police uh, reports against us for blasphemy, calls for our arrests, um, so many calls for our arrests. Um, and they're like, oh, this is insulting and all. But these are the same people who are extremely aggressive against Islam while demanding people respect you know their religion and now <laughs> and now like okay, this is these are the standards. You're like these people, you know. Um, you wanted blasphemy laws. You wanted people to be p punished for disrespecting religions. Now the same standards are now being turned on you. And how do you like that? Like, right? This is this is. I mean, maybe maybe Hinduism is correct. Maybe like there is such a thing as karma. Okay, so I don't know. But hey, look at this is the tweet. So I don't. This is like this is so mild, by the way, right? Like yeah. if you like in 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 India where Hinduism is a dominant religion. Okay. And there's so much anti-Muslim bigotry, okay? You could get in trouble for something this mild. Like, look at it. This is nothing. It's, like, I don't like... It, no, it's the, the Hindu nationalists, like, throwing out their own people over this. Yeah. I know, but like, like... This still shows, like, the pressure of Islam, man. <laughs> like, yeah, that's, that's another point. Like, look at it. Like, Islam, like... You, no chill, okay? Like, you guys, you know, forget about drawing Muhammad. You have, like, whiskey next to the Kaaba with a caption saying, I see the problem. I mean, this is what the Sufis, the Islamic Sufis say. Like, how is this? A, like, honestly, I would be defending these guys if they weren't such hypocrites, okay? Because, 
Like, do you know how many Islamic Sufi poetry it is, there exists about like seeing God in the in your alcohol, you know, at the bottom of the glass of wine or stuff like that? How this this is whiskey? They they usually talk about wine, right? But this is like nothing. This what is this? How is this even insulting? Okay, but if you can get trouble for this. And if this is the standard you're setting, do you know how many other, you know, Hindus have had like a history of saying a lot worse things about Islam than this? And what you're opening yourself, because this conflict between Hindus and Muslims could escalate in the future. And you guys are like, if this is the standard you're setting, there's going to be a wave of like, I don't know, the police are going to be busy, (laughs) like with over the like mile over the mildest things. Mm-hmm. Anyways, I don't know. I just, I, I just think like we should encourage Muslims in India to file FIRs against this. Like, you know, why aren't you? They keep filing FIRs against anybody who se- says the mildest things against Hinduism. Why is this going? Where is the consistency? Right? You should well, like. I don't I, think. I, I, I don't. <laughs> well, the, this is actually the problem. Is that these laws are allowing for just retaliatory action against communities it's like i know the but they means, started it. the means through which you exert that through state powder power hmm. like that's so crazy like yeah I, but you show that this yeah, it allows it to escalate like these need to be removed and repealed urgently okay but Susanna, my point is that you will show the ridiculousness of all of these by making them by by giving them a taste of their own medicine okay i kind of feel like some muslims could um in india could basically uh, play the same role as the satanic temple in the united states right so you have like violations of secularism in the united states and the satanic temple comes in and tries to use the same standards to scare scare the christians like okay secularism please today right like i don't want like I don't want satanic, te- you know, satanism be taught in schools and stuff like that. And I think like maybe we could get the Hindu majority in India to come up against blasphemy laws when they notice that they can't, their their people are go- they're going after their people over blasphemy, right? So maybe we could like appeal these blasphemy laws by like, hey, if you want to have blasphemy laws. This also applies to Islam. You can't just have it over Hinduism. You can't just protect Hinduism with blasphemy laws. I don't know. It might work. I don't know. But um, somebody Higgs Boson in the live chat is saying they are filing FIRs. Are they? Is this something based for this guy? Based on the reports that I have read, they did not report any legal action taken against uh, Arun Nadav at the time of publication. Look at read this. Uh, Mogambo is saying they are doing this because they have put anti BJP journalists in for less. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, that was the whole point. People were comparing this to Mohammed Zubair, who was initially arrested for a tweet he made in 2018, which you know was apparently offended re- Hindu religious sentiments so much. And then since they've slapped him, I know he's been hit with a lot more charges. But their initial excuse for why they pulled him in immediately after he pointed out what Newport Sharma did that caused this international diplomatic crisis, like it's clearly in retaliation for him drawing attention to that. And they used offense to Hindu religious sentiments as the excuse to do so and then pursue char- further charges. Yeah. So I just think, and then, and then it feels like, and then they go after, you know, BJP IT cell to get back at him. And go back and forth like all these muslim religious leaders calling out this this it cell leader like it just it seems so toxic to continue to find scapegoats from the opposite community to then go dog pile on and judicially harass like okay, read this one uh that oxymoron is saying muslims don't want freedom of speech they got blasphemy laws in the first place uh partly a parody hurts them <clears throat> okay, so but, uh, oxymoron. I don't know why you're still, after all this time, you're still incapable of not generalizing. Okay, Muslims don't want like. Can you not? Can you try to learn to be not co- not have this collectivist mindset? Like I don't know how hard. It's not that difficult. Okay, I believe in you. You can do it. Okay, try harder. All right. 
Yeah, I just think that it's of the utmost importance that these areas of the penal code are reversed. I don't know what it would take or what how you would have to go about abolishing this within India, but I really am coming further and further to conclusion that it's just necessary for the social well-being of the nation. I know there would probably be huge freaking protests and riots if it was abolished, but I think it's important. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.